Hello, my name is Bhavan Kumar and in this video we are going to learn that how we can stop a Google Kubernetes cluster engine. Uh, basically what happened like when you uh, choose to practice on Google Kubernetes cl cluster engine uh, you generally get uh, around uh, $300 uh, for one year to practice but when you create Kubernetes cluster on Google Cloud it basically uh, there is no any option to stop Kubernetes cluster engine to stop building that you get $300 to spend for a for an year so basically you just either you create either you delete the Kubernetes cluster or you just keep it running so basically you in, in both way that you are destroying your cluster first and the second thing that you are keep in, in both situation uh, you are losing something like if it is not deleting then it is uh, taking your free account over and if you are uh, if you are deleting it so whatever pod and services you have deployed everything has been lost so in this video i am giving you the solution that how you can stop kubernetes cluster without removing your kubernetes cluster engine on google cloud so let's see currently i have i'm logged in on google account and uh, i went to uh, Kubernetes cluster engine uh, Kubernetes engine and I clicked on cluster so I came to this page and here I can see that I have one cluster running and which is in a location US central 1-C and I have three nodes in this cluster each nodes have one CPU and a total of 11.25 GB RAM so this is my cur current status of my cluster so right now let me tell you that how you can stop your Kubernetes cluster. So if you're if you're looking the way that how you can stop Kubernetes cluster, Kubernetes engine on Google Cloud, so there is no any other option on GUI. So the, you cannot um, stop Kubernetes cluster from here. So either you select and you, you don't get the option to stop your cluster. When you click on edit, it doesn't give you the it doesn't give you the option that how you can stop your Kubernetes cluster, Kubernetes engine on Google Cloud. So, so this is it. So there is only one option left. You have to go to the GUI. You have to access the Google Shell terminal, and from there you can stop your Kubernetes cluster, Kubernetes engine. So let's click on Connect and run in run in Cloud Shell option. So. Okay, so I have to reconnect it. So I am reconnecting it because uh, initially I have already opened this con con console. But when you will do it first time, it will not ask you to reconnect. It will prompt this, uh, this kind of terminal and it, you will get the option. So that's it. I'm clicking on, I just click on this to open in next uh, tab so that I can get a uh, a bigger view okay so right now I have a cloud shell if I'll write the qctl command get nodes so you can see that I have three nodes at here okay so I have three nodes when you will do when you will check all other services like pod and deployment and services you will see that everything is running fine everything status is running everything is okay when you will click on the services And I have service of Jenkins. When I'll click on it, it will take me to the dashboard of Jenkins. So everything is running fine. But later on, I thought that uh, my practice is done. So I need to stop Kubernetes engine on Google Cloud. So what you can do, you can do the same. You can come to the cloud shell and you run, need to run this command. So I have already this command. So let me explain you this, what does this command do. So G Cloud is basically a command shell of Google Cloud. You need to write container and then clusters. And then what are you need to do is resizing. And you can type the name of your cluster. So my cluster name is basically Hire Lab. So you can see I have Hire Lab and that's the zone in which zone my cluster is running, which is in US Central 1-C. 
So that's I have mentioned it here. And now dash dash num dash nodes is equal to three. So if you want to shut down this, then you need to click on, then you need to replace three with zero and enter. It will ask you uh, for the permission, then you have to press capital Y and then enter. So this process has been started. Once this process is done, you will see, soon you will see that you have a three nodes only, uh, you have a zero node now. So this process is going to take some time. I'm going to pause this video. I'll come back once this is done. Okay, so we are back now. So you can see this process has been completed. Uh, we are resized to, to zero. The process is done. Let's go back and check on the cluster. You can refresh this and you can see now you don't have any, uh, I mean, there is nothing at here and the total course is zero, total memory is zero. So your Kubernetes cluster is down now. It's a stop basically, but still you are able to run kubectl command and you can see the status of your pods and services which will of course it will not be running so definitely you can check get nodes so what i mean to say that you you are still able to query your things your pods your deployment that you can see now as well so you can see everything was running fine when I clicked on Jenkins, it was running fine, but this should not be running because the pod status is in, uh, in pending status state. So everything is down, but uh, the things are still waiting for nodes to come up. So after some time, when you think that you again need to do practice on Google uh, Kubernetes engine, Kubernetes engine, so you can come again, the same way you can come to this, path and you can access the cloud shell and again run the same command again run the same command and instead of zero you can have two three one two three as number of nodes you want to add so make sure this is your free if this is your free account you should not go more than three because uh, it may it may uh, cost your or it may or you can lose your uh, a free account on Google Cloud. So for the safe side, I'm just keeping the same that I uh, got earlier, three and then click next. Again, do capital Y and then enter. Okay, so this process is again is going to take some time. Once this is done, I will come back and I will show you that, uh, that uh, the services which was in pending status, are they running? once they once the nodes come up so as i told you that they are waiting for the pods and services are waiting for the nodes to come up in into the cluster once this these things will come up the pods will resume their service so i will show you the final status of it uh, meanwhile i'm uh, stopping this video i'll come back okay so we are back now uh, so you can see that i have a three uh, the process is completed when you will go back to the cluster, you can see that we have a three nodes into the cluster. Now, uh, if you will click on this, it, it, it will take some time to ref, uh, regain your service to be running. So if you will run the command get all. So you can see the status of the spots are running now. Everything is fine. Came back. So we have we don't have to do anything once you resize your node to three or more. So I just click on refresh. So Jenkins processes came back. So I don't have to do anything. So simply you have to resize your cluster to be zero or uh, more than zero. I mean three. So if you will keep it zero, if you will do uh, num node size zero, then your node your Kubernetes engine will stop. When you will do a num nodes uh, one, two, three, or more than three, so it will start your Kubernetes engine cluster. So that's it for this video. Uh, uh, in, in my next video, I'm going to explain you uh, the next step of Kubernetes cluster that how you can deploy uh, the services and pod on Kubernetes engine. Meanwhile, be safe and take care.